hello there and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some top five android apps for the month of march so if you're new here just give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's just dive into the video so the first app on the list i want to share with you today is new visage so with new visage you're able to just play songs on your device and then you get this kind of animations on your phone whilst you're actually playing the song it's actually very nice and this is one of the applications i downloaded and i felt very very cool with it so this application is actually free and then you can also get a paid version in case you want to go premium and then be able to use all the animations on this application so this is one of the paid animations i'm using at the moment and in case you want to use any paid animation like this you need to just watch an ad for about 30 seconds or 20 or 5 seconds depending on the ad and then you can just apply for these ones but there are free ones right here which you can just apply for free and anytime you play a song on your device this kind of animations are just going to pop up on your phone so i'm going to do a scenario for you and it's actually very cool because it just pops up or shows on your phone per how the volume of the song is so these are the settings you are going to see right here so you can play music overlay always on display and that is basically very cool that is one of the features too i like on this application you guys need to try because there are some phones we don't have always on display but this app is actually going to allow you to just get always on display whilst you are playing a song every time on your device so let me just play this song right here which i know i'm not going to get copyrighted and then i'm going to lower it and then go to my home screen and then put it off and you're going to see this is going to be you're going to be able to even pause the song on your screen like this and even turn it on again change in between songs you feel like you want if there are any other songs you feel like you want for the sake of this video not to get copyrighted i'm not going to switch the song but you can see at the edges right here that the song is actually playing and then the animation is actually popping up right there which is pretty much very cool so in case you want to try this one out you can just try it out it's called movies edge and that is basically very cool you can check through the animations and then you can see the ones you like but it's worth it if you're actually going to go premium or you go pro it's worth it you can also go to the other section where you're going to be able to just get some clocks and then also other animations while you are using the application it's pretty much very cool you can play around with this application and you're going to love it so try movies edge and let's check out the next application so the next app on the list is called yandex keyboard so this is one of the keyboards that is also a pretty cool one that is very easy to use and also free to use so when you check out right here you can see i'm going to skip the sign in and then language and then go to the theme right here which is going to allow you to see how you feel you want your keyboard to look like so when i tap on this section you're going to see how the keyboard looks like and it's very very cool i don't lie about that and you can tap here to just get some emojis and even get stickers and then get some gifts if you like to send some gifs or else you are chatting with your friends this keyboard actually has one and you can even swipe through while you are typing and it's also very very cool so it supports swipe through while you're typing and it makes the chat very very easily because sometimes maybe you might be feeling lazy to just type everything and this keyboard is actually going to help you do that and you can tap here to just change your theme in case you want to just switch to any color you feel like you want you can just change to and that is basically very cool in case maybe you want to create your own theme too you can tap on create right here and then you tap on this side to just allow your background to pick any picture of your choice and one thing i liked about this one too is it supports third party apps which are wallpaper apps and i can tap on blacker which is a third party app and i'm going to be able to pick any wallpaper right here on blacker and i use it as the keyboard background which is going to be very very cool and i can just tap on this one and then make it as my theme or anything i feel like i want to use as the background of my keyboard and that's going to be very very great so we can try yandex and in case maybe this application is one of the helpful ones you've seen so far today to just let me know in the comment section and let's check out the next application so the next app on the list which a lot of people are going to love is android 12 clock so with android 12 clock it allows you to just get all the android 12 clock widgets which a lot of people are really willing to just get on their devices you know android 12 clock actually made its debut on android 12 devices and some people are using android 11 downwards and they're not being able to just get these widgets so this one right here is actually going to allow you to just get all these free widgets right here and you can see through you can just pick on any of them and then you are you add to home screen and it's actually going to be your widgets right here so i tap on it like this and i go to my home screen and i'm going to see it right here so this is it right here you can adjust it anyhow you feel like you want it and that is basically very cool so you can just get your widgets right here you tap on this section in case you want to edit it and then you just do it the way you want it and that is going to be very very cool so you can actually choose in between any of the clocks you feel like you want you can tap on this and then pick on this one right here you add to your home screen and it's actually going to pop up as a widget and that is good so you check out this one right here too which is the one a lot of people are really looking up for or really willing to use that is 
a very cool one that i think that is my favorite widget actually on android 12 widgets and you can see right here so comparing this to the main android 12 widgets you can see this is it's right here and this is it right here and it's pretty much very cool so you can check out the two the differences even though this is very very slick and nice but they still got the nice and then slickness of the other one so you can try android 12 clock in case you want to get all your android 12 clock widgets and that is basically very cool let's check out the next application so the next application still deals with the android 12 widgets so with this one it's a refined one which i think it's a more advanced one than the first one we had and with this one you're going to be able to get battery widgets and then calendar and then the clock widgets and then even controls bluetooth and all Wi-Fi and then also the Google widgets, music widgets, notification, shortcuts, weather, which you are going to be able to get unless you go premium on this application. So the rest are free apart from the weather widget. So when you check out right here and then you feel like you want to use or you want to get this widgets right here, you can choose to tap on this section to look through and then you're going to see the widgets that is available for the particular widget you are looking up for. So you go to calendar widgets, you go through here and then you can see the widgets available and you're going to be able to choose on any one you feel like once you go to the clock widget too so i think this one is actually going to have almost all the clock widgets compared to the other app we checked and that is basically very cool so you can pick on any of them you feel like you want and you are good so let's say we want to pick a clock widget right here and then we're just going to pick on this one which is more popular so we're going to pick on this and then we're going to tap on add widget you're going to see it like this and then you tap on add to home screen and then you can choose how you feel you want your widget to look like there's going to be the preview and the display is called very cool so you can tap on it like this to just check and then you're going to see your widgets actually going to change you check it right here and then you check it and then when you are done and you feel you are okay with whatever color you've used you tap on add widgets and then it's actually going to be added to your home screen right here and you can adjust it per how you feel you want your widget to be and the display is called very cool so when you check out this widget right here and then you compare it to the ordinary or the main android 12 widget you can see the difference you can see the second hand is actually not here but it still serve you with the android 12 widget and that is basically very cool so let's check out the next application so the next app i want to share with you is the google camera go so with google camera go is one of the applications which is going to be very very useful for you in case maybe you are a fan of google pixel phones but you're not being able to just get it or you don't have the google pixel phone you can download the google camera go which is actually going to give you the chance to get some nice and slick pictures which i won't lie about it to you guys you're actually going to see on your screen some pictures i took with this google camera go and in case maybe you want to see how the app works you can just get a chance to get portrait and then get photo and then get video and then also get translate for you to just scan anything you feel like you want to scan and then you get it where it's being translated on the screen for you that is pretty much very cool so when you check out right here with a video it actually gives you the minutes you are going to be able to record the video per the storage or space you have on your device at a given time when you go to photos too you're going to be able to see the number of photos you are going to be able to just shoot at a given time with this application it's actually the google camera but a more smaller one with some of the great features of their main google camera and is very compatible to a lot of phones which are not being able to pick the main google camera so you can check out the settings right here and then we have night mode hdr enhance and then flash and then face enhance and then timer like the main google camera and that is basically very cool so you can check out this google camera go in case maybe you want to have a feel of the google camera or the jcam on your devices you can check out night mode hdr flash right there you can just put it up there and then that is basically very cool so try google camera go in case maybe you want to have a feel of g camera or google pixel cameras and it's actually going to be very very great for you so i'll make a side by side photo shoot with a g cam and a g cam go which is the google camera and the google camera go and then you're going to see the differences so in case maybe this video was very helpful just give it a thumbs up and also in case you want to know more apps you can download on your device you can check out this playlist right here and it's going to be very helpful for you and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace